Hello, welcome to this week's episode of Dean's Destination, where I've got a new camera angle, a new hoodie, a new way to cook food, new hair, and some new wheels. So stay tuned, and I'll show you what I've got this week. Cause the mama I'm sure hard to handle now I guess around Mama, I'm sure hard to handle now gets around. it was loud and rattly and also because I can turn the camera around now and you should be able to see better without half the dashboard cutting it off so I'm pretty much here now so let me turn it around ah oh, look at that loads better right so just on the right here is a car park and the car park is to give you access to a place in Wakefield called Thorns Park so here we go there is a sign here which made me notice it that says no overnight parking just on the left there and that's what kind of attracted me to want to stop here Right, so this is me for the night. Let me show you some new toys. And the first thing that I wanted to show you is my new wheels. And I shot some footage earlier of those. So take a look now and see what you think.
the reason I swapped them is because I worked with a guy who wanted some smaller wheels and I don't mind having bigger wheels at all. So we swapped and I've got them and they look great. All I need to do now is just paint them black because they did look good black before. So that's one of the jobs I need to do. And the next thing I wanted to show you is this. It's my new camping oven. All right, so this can be used like it is now and it literally just runs off a gas cartridge like what my actual hob runs off. You just put one of them inside there, switch it on, and that's your oven. It's got a little temperature gauge on, timer, safety features like a cutout switch, and then your gas dial there, just to turn it up and down. So there, that's the uh, oven I've just got. I've just been to Asda as well and bought a tray and a lasagna dish. And they fit perfect inside here, absolutely perfect fit. So this is the tray that came with it, like a little grill tray. And this is the tray I've just bought. And look, it just fits perfectly in there. Like I said last week, I'm going to be doing a full camper conversion in here. And that oven is one of the things I need because I'm going to integrate that into the kitchen worktop. I'm going to have a hob above it and then I'm going to have my fridge down at the side and then my bed on the opposite side of the van. So where I'm stopping tonight is quite a large park, so I might as well make the most of it. I've got the dog's leads and harnesses, so I'm going to take them out for a little walk. Anna, take you out for a little walkie. You want to go for a walk? Eh? Do I go for a walk? I bet you do. Come on then. Zach. Zach. Zach, come on. Oh, there he goes. Come on then. So quite a good spot this then. There's a little golf course here which I'm walking around at the moment. So Thorns Park is situated pretty much in the centre of Wakefield. It's quite large, there's tennis courts. A golf course, there's even a little duck pond and there's some turtles in it as well if you look really closely. There's even a bandstand and they have a couple of festivals every year. Clarence Park Festival being one of the main ones and they have all different bands playing in the uh, bandstand. That's pretty good to go to, it gets quite busy. There's also quite a steep hill here as well and when it snows it's a really good spot for sledging and it gets really busy. Loads of people from around Wakefield come with the kids and the sledges and even snowboard sometimes and just have a good laugh. So when it snows it's also one of my favourite spots to come as well because you can get some right good speed up on the hill. <whistles> See ya! Come on then! See ya. It's just nice to be able to bring the dogs and let them off and have a run around before I go back, make something to eat and go to sleep. See, I'm really looking forward to using that new oven because tonight I can make a lasagna, which is one of my favourite things. <laughs> so yeah, I'll uh, finish walking the dogs, wrap that up and get back to the van. Oh, it's this as well, look. So we're on the golf course and this is actually one of the sand bunkers. It's just, you know, grass. I'm not sure if it's because of coronavirus and it's not been used and not been maintained that it's just overgrown and been left. Here we are then, back to the van. Let's get the dogs in. Okay then, so also this week I got asked to uh, promote this hoodie by sharing a picture on Instagram. But I can do one better than that. Cute sexy montage. So yeah, all joking aside, it's a great quality hoodie, 
it's been handmade and if you want one you can find one on Instagram by searching one in a jillion with two ends and an underscore at the end and she makes personalised clothing so if you're interested in getting anything like this made check her out on uh, Insta and get one box I love this, matches the colour of my van as well right then so here's the oven and this is pretty much where it's going to be the kitchen worktop is going to come across here and this is going to be exposed at the front you're going to see the face of this because I'm going to cut the worktop out it's quite small on the outside and it's quite large on the inside as well it's quite a large oven dish this and it still fits inside it quite nicely right then so I better get to making this lasagna first thing I need to do is take this label out Right then, so that's how it looks now. Plenty of layers in there as well, just like I like my lasagnas with loads of layers in. Plenty of pasta sheets. Okay, so what I need to do now is light this oven. So I'll just check that the gas cartridge is in properly. Which it is. We need the timer on. And then we need to hold this brass button in and light it at the same time. There we go. Just need to let that get up to temperature. I'm thinking around 200 degrees Celsius. So when it's up to there, that's when I'll put the lasagna in. Right, so I'm going to put the lasagna in now. So the lasagna sat in there now. Temperature's a little bit too high, but I've turned it down. Hopefully the temperature comes down as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my wedges in too.
Right then, so I'm just going to get comfy now, watch a bit of this, and I'll wait for that to cook. Right then, so it's ready now, time to get it out, so let's have a look. Ho 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 look at that! Oh yeah! That looks incredible! Look at that! I can't wait to stick into that! I'm like so impressed with how well that's cooked in that little oven that like, I'm proper like I like find it hilarious <laughs> in that tiny little oven. <laughs> oh Right then, let's give this a whirl. Wedges are good. Now the lasagna. Mm. It's properly, properly cooked. Tastes amazing. <laughs> it's hot. I'm so impressed. I can't. Words can't tell you how impressed I am. <laughs> I'm proper impressed. The only thing that could improve this right now is to put Netflix on and watch something on TV. I'm just living the I'm just living the dream. <laughs> so happy. Right, so it's late now, it's like three o'clock in the morning. I always go to sleep late when I'm camping because I enjoy it so much, but I'm just gonna have a quick walk around the outside and just uh, Make sure everything's on Gidori. Okay, well, it looks actually getting light. What the, why do I always do this? Quiet though, there's no one here at all. Right, well it is very, very late now, so I must go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. So we're awake now, aren't we? And it's uh, not had a proper look outside, but it's red hot, so it must be lovely out there. I've cracked the door open, sun's beaming in, so it must be a nice day today. So there's loads I could be doing. Um, I'll get out and have a look. It's gorgeous. <laughs> You're gorgeous. You're ugly. <laughs> Our pack's really full. So yeah, I'm gonna just quickly tidy up. I'm gonna take the dogs for a quick walk. And then I've got some stuff I need to do today, so yeah. 
so that's it from me this week i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and don't forget to check me out on instagram dean's destination also facebook dean's destination uh, i've had quite a lot of people joining that lately and also again i've had some just amazing comments that make me want to keep going keep seeing different places and just keep enjoying myself really and that's what i want to do i just want to enjoy myself this channel is just about me getting out enjoying myself and sharing that so thank you everyone for your comments have been wonderful i'll see you next week in a different location on dean's destination thank you goodbye